Good morning, Kickstarter and YouTube. Guys, in this last week of the Low Poly Dino Kickstarter, things are going to kick so much butt. It is so cool. Now, I take my Sundays off. I feel that it's important for me to spend time with my family and with my religion, but you guys did not. Over this Sunday, the Kickstarter reached a $4,500 stretch goal, which means a new dino for you guys to choose. So be sure to hit up the survey in the description to find out, uh, to tell me what model you want to do. But we got there by having two generous $100 backers, which means that they each get to pick a dino that gets thrown into the pot as well, which means that we are up to a total of 24 dinos. Now, of those 24, there are five that I haven't modeled. There is your choice, the two backers, the $200 backers choice, the Parasophilophilus, which is the one with the horn head out the back, and the Iguanodon. So I'm going to have to model those, but this week I'm going to focus a little bit on doing some videos. But I have been also not just modeling the dinos, but I've been printing them out to make sure that they work for you, that I'm not pushing the overhangs. And on this one, this is the frilled lizard acid spitting dino, which I think would be absolutely brilliant to like drill a hole down the middle here and put a water gun behind him. I think that would be cool. He printed fine where he was facing the fan. Where he's not, there's a lot of really nasty overhangs on this guy. And I'm, I'm considering maybe taking the back and just flattening it out so that that's not a problem. Or maybe I'll leave it. I'm not sure. I'll try flattening it out, see how it looks. If I can't stand it, then I don't know. It's, it's, it's really tricky because these overhangs are exactly at 45 degrees. I'm really, really pushing it with this guy. Which means that... Yeah, I, I, I want to say that these are all easy prints, but that one's kind of pushing it. And, you know, the Sabertooth Tiger as well. Now, Sabertooth Tiger, I employed the strategy of printing them on his back so all the legs print up. But I ended up with a little bit too much. And maybe this is just my print head causing me problems. But there, I don't know if you can see them, there are gaps in the foot there and in the foot back here that we're facing away. So when I make the video with these guys, and it's going to be a hilarious, funny video with my yellow mastodon or my black mastodon my yellow uh saber-toothed tiger and red tyrannosaurus blue triceratops but my my pterodactyls were already pink and if you know what all why i'm printing them in these colors it's going to be funny so yeah that's that's kind of been my thing also we've got the our newest water dino which i modeled in such a way that he could look like he's swimming and that was kind of my goal, even though he prints flat like that. So I think he turned out fantastic. So lots of really cool dinos, but I'm not just modeling them. I'm printing them and making sure that they work. However, I wanted to tell you guys about a comment that was on the Kickstarter. And you can see these on the comments page of the Kickstarter. But David Vetter and, and other people have been agreeing with him, said that this is the first time that they've paid money for an STL and that it's changing their perception of the value of a good, solid, well-printable STL. David, your comment and, and those of you who agree with him that this is changing your perception of the value of models means, means the world to me. I didn't set out on this to change the world. That, that wasn't my goal. My goal was to raise some money so that I could make better videos so that I could change the world. This wasn't meant to be the one, the part that was changing the world. And yet in a little way it is. And, and that means a lot to me. That means so much to me that, uh, did I say how many dinos we're up to? We're up to 24 dinos right now. Now I'm hoping we hit another stretch goal that we make that an even $25 for 25 dinos. I think that that is fantastic. But David, because of because you warmed my heart so much by saying that, I want to introduce you guys to the Dimorphodon. So here he is. This is the Dimorphodon. And the Dimorphodon, well, the first time I saw him was on Jurassic World. And in on Jurassic World when the the aviary breaks open and all the dinos go flying out. There, there are some dinos that look like pterodactyls with with Tyrannosaurus rex heads. And when I first saw that, I thought, oh, hey, more genetic experiments, obviously. Dude, no, I was wrong. 
This is a real dinosaur. It's called Dimorphodon because it has two shapes of teeth. Dimorph, two shapes of teeth in its head. And yes, its skull kind of looks like a T-Rex. So when I was doing some modeling, I was modeling the pterodactyls and I couldn't choose whether I wanted him to be laying down flat or up and when he is up let's see if I can find my shape keys should his wings be forward or back so you backers to the Kickstarter are going to get three pterodactyls and then I thought you know I really also I want to uh, I want to make them one of them that's sitting down and after I modeled the body sitting down I thought that is too many pterodactyls and so I took the Tyrannosaurus head, and I put him on here, and ha ha ha, I made a Dimorphodon by meshing the Tyrannosaurus and the pterodactyl body. But I had to add a long tail as well, and the thing was, that's where it started. It was a Remixodon, a Remixosaurus, I don't know. But I pinched and pulled and moved and transformed those vertices until they were their own entity. So while, yes, it started as these two dinosaurs remixed together. It ended as its own entity, and I'm super pleased with where it came out. I'm gonna release him right now, but only because you guys, oh, I love that comment so much. I love that comment so much. Guys, the, the low poly dino Kickstarter is still going, and we've got five more days. So this video, I'm gonna try and produce a bunch of videos, put them out on YouTube, just get the word out. So be sure to hit the link in the description. Go vote on the dinos that you want to see. Big thanks to all my backers. Big thanks to my Patreon backers as well, because you guys, your continued support means the world to me. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. And as always, I want to say safety first. See you guys next time.